The Matukituki Valley in Mount Aspiring National Park is a breathtaking destination for outdoor enthusiasts and nature lovers. The valley is surrounded by towering peaks, crystal clear rivers, and massive glaciers. The valley boasts some of the most stunning mountain scenery in New Zealand. It is home to an impressive network of trails with some wild and challenging routes. The Cascade Saddle begins from a spiring hut and climbs more than 1,300 meters over six kilometers. It is as much of a physical challenge as a mental one. And if you're afraid of heights, you might want to give this one a miss. Starting from Raspberry Creek Car Park, we hike the nine kilometers to a spiring hut under the golden glow of the setting sun. The walk-in is a gentle one through beautiful farmland and a good warm-up for what lies ahead. With the warmth of an early winter fire, we have a very relaxing night at Aspiring Hut. We awake early to give ourselves plenty of time for the climb ahead. The track is often completed with an overnight stay on the saddle. But with a good weather window before winter sets in, we're attempting to complete the return trip in a single day. Leaving our main bags at Aspiring Hut, we start the climb to the saddle. It's a 700 meter climb through the forest before reaching the bush line. After crossing the bush line, you are rewarded with breathtaking views down the Matukituki Valley. But the climbing has only just begun. From here, it's an additional 600 meter climb to the pylon. The route becomes even steeper and you'll be scrambling up the rock face with your hands and feet.
need to turn around at one o'clock and it's past 12, I don't think it's worth it. Our legs are already so done. And I don't really want to have to climb back up this. <laughs> so, I think we're going to title this video Attempting to Hike the Cascade Saddle. At least you can see the glacier. At least there's that. <sighs> well, we got a bit of time, so we'll explore up here a little bit, try and get some more shots. And then we'll go destroy our knees heading back down. We have failed you. I apologize. But I don't care because you're not the one hiking. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed. Really wanted to see the valley on the dark side lead up and connect to the dark glacier. It's definitely the gnarliest hike we've done though. That climb up here was pretty sketchy. Of all the things you've thrown out, it's the hardest thing that you've known. Never taught you to know how I know I know When you're in the wild, being able to stop and make a decision about whether to continue is so important. If the weather changes, if the terrain becomes dangerous, or you just aren't feeling it, we should never be thinking of it as quitting, giving up, or failing. It's often said hiking is about the journey, not the destination. While that might not be true for everyone, it's important to make smart decisions. Ensure you get to go home to your family and hike another day. Never heard until you got loud. Now you're hiding what you've shown. Only confess now that it's found. day. Long one. Well, in hindsight, we probably could have made it to Cascade Saddle and back, but we would have been pushing it and I don't think we would have enjoyed it. So really, what's the point? Realistically, it would have been smarter to do this hike a month earlier, but the days were a bit longer, or to leave an hour earlier today and give ourselves plenty of time. But it's good. We learned a couple things. It's early April and the days are getting quite a bit shorter. As you can see, it's only just five o'clock now and the sun has already dropped behind these mountains. So we've got a couple hours hike out to the car and then about an hour drive home. So enjoy these last few shots as we hike back to the car. Otherwise, thank you for watching as always. And we'll see you in the next one.